and if he be poor, and his means suffice not, then he shall take one he lamb for a guilt offering to be waived, to make atonement for him, and one tenth part of an ephah of fine flour mingled with oil for a meal offering, and a log of oil, and two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, such as his means suffice for, and the one shall be a sin offering, and the other a burnt offering. And on the eighth day he shall bring them for his cleansing unto the priest, unto the door of the tent of meeting, before the Lord. And the priest shall take the lamb of the guilt offering, and the log of oil, and the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. And he shall kill the lamb of the guilt offering, and the priest shall take of the blood of the guilt offering, and put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And the priest shall pour of the oil into the palm of his own left hand. And the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times before the Lord. And the priest shall put of the oil that is in his hand upon the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot, upon the place of the blood of the guilt offering. And the rest of the oil that is in the priest's hand he shall put upon the head of him that is to be cleansed, to make atonement for him before the Lord. And he shall offer one of the turtle doves, or of the young pigeons, such as his means suffice for. Even such as his means suffice for, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, with the meal offering, and the priest shall make atonement for him that is to be cleansed before the Lord. This is the law of him in whom is the plague of leprosy, whose means suffice not for that which pertaineth to his cleansing. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When ye are come into the land of Canaan, which I give to you for a possession, and I put the plague of leprosy in a house of the land of your possession, then he that owneth the house shall come and tell the priest, saying, There seemeth to me to be as it were a plague in the house. And the priest shall command that they empty the house, before the priest go in to see the plague, that all that is in the house be not made unclean, and afterward the priest shall go in to see the house. And he shall look on the plague, and behold, if the plague be in the walls of the house with hollow streaks, greenish or reddish, and the appearance thereof be lower than the wall. Then the priest shall go out of the house to the door of the house, and shut up the house seven days. And the priest shall come again the seventh day, and shall look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the walls of the house. Then the priest shall command that they take out the stones in which the plague is, and cast them into an unclean place without the city. And he shall cause the house to be scraped within roundabout, and they shall pour out the mortar that they scrape off without the city into an unclean place. And they shall take other stones, and put them in the place of those stones, and he shall take other mortar, and shall plaster the house. And if the plague come again, and break out in the house, after that the stones have been taken out, and after the house hath been scraped, and after it is plastered, then the priest shall come in and look, and behold, if the plague be spread in the house, it is a malignant leprosy in the house, it is unclean. And he shall break down the house, the stones of it, and the timber thereof, and all the mortar of the house, and he shall carry them forth out of the city into an unclean place. Moreover he that goeth into the house all the while that it is shut up shall be unclean until the even. And he that leeth in the house shall wash his clothes, and he that eateth in the house shall wash his clothes. And if the priest shall come in, and look, and behold, the plague hath not spread in the house, after the house was plastered, then the priest shall pronounce the house clean, because the plague is healed. And he shall take to cleanse the house two birds, and cedarwood, and scarlet, and hyssop. And he shall kill one of the birds in an earthen vessel over running water. And he shall take the cedarwood, and the hyssop, and the scarlet, and the living bird, and dip them in the blood of the slain bird, and in the running water, and sprinkle the house seven times. And he shall cleanse the house with the blood of the bird, and with the running water, and with the living bird, and with the cedarwood, and with the hyssop, and with the scarlet. 
but he shall let go the living bird out of the city into the open field. So shall he make atonement for the house, and it shall be clean. This is the law for all manner of plague of leprosy, and for a skull, and for the leprosy of a garment, and for a house, and for a rising, and for a scab, and for a bright spot. To teach when it is unclean, and when it is clean, this is the law of leprosy. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When any man hath an issue out of his flesh, his issue is unclean. And this shall be his uncleanness in his issue, whether his flesh run with his issue, or his flesh be stopped from his issue, it is his uncleanness. Every bed whereon he that hath the issue least shall be unclean, and every thing whereon he sitteth shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth his bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And he that sitteth on anything whereon he that hath the issue sat shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And he that toucheth the flesh of him that hath the issue shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And if he that hath the issue spit upon him that is clean, then he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And what saddle soever he that hath the issue rideth upon shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth anything that was under him shall be unclean until the even. And he that beareth those things shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And whomsoever he that hath the issue toucheth, without having rinsed his hands in water, he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And the earthen vessel, which he that hath the issue toucheth, shall be broken, and every vessel of which shall be rinsed in water. And when he that hath an issue is cleansed of his issue, then he shall number to himself seven days for his cleansing, and wash his clothes. And he shall bathe his flesh in running water, and shall be clean. And on the eighth day he shall take to him two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, and come before the Lord unto the door of the tent of meeting, and give them unto the priest. And the priest shall offer them, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering, and the priest shall make atonement for him before the Lord for his issue. And if the flow of seed go out from a man, then he shall bathe all his flesh in water, and be unclean until the even. And every garment, and every skin, whereon is the flow of seed, shall be washed with water, and be unclean until the even. The woman also with whom a man shall lie carnally, they shall both bathe themselves in water, and be unclean until the even. And if a woman have an issue, and her issue in her flesh be blood, she shall be in her impurity seven days. And whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the even. And everything that she leath upon in her impurity shall be unclean. Everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth her bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And whosoever toucheth anything that she sitteth upon shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the even. And if he be on the bed, or on anything whereon she sitteth, when he toucheth it, he shall be unclean until the even.